Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis uh, based on KTU syllabus and we are on the module 6 and uh, today we are going to discuss on the topic SYNC equation. As we know the power system consists of number of synchronous machines uh, which is uh, acting synchronous which is uh, working synchronously at a, a different load conditions. So under normal operation the relative position of the rotor axis and the resultant magnetic field axis are fixed and this angle we know that the angle between these two is known as the power angle or torque angle. So during any disturbances the rotor decelerates or accelerates that is due to the uh, load change uh, conditions or any disturbances the rotor decelerates or accelerates with respect to the synchronously rotating air gap MMF and this creating a relative motion okay and the sync equation actually describes the relative motion okay the equation describing the relative motion is known as the sync equation and it is a uh, non-linear second order differential equation that describes the swing of the rotor of synchronous machine actually describe the swing of the rotor okay that is the uh, change uh, in the speed that is the acceleration or deceleration the power exchange between the mechanical rotor and the electrical grid due to this rotor swing okay is called initial response and we are uh, going to derive the sync equation here and as shown in the figure it is for a generator and uh, this is uh, a motor and we are considering the rotor of the machines so the rotor of a synchronous machine okay even it is a generator rotor or um, even it is a generator or motor the rotor of a synchronous machine is subjected to two torques two different torques te and tm so te is the net electrical or electromagnetic torque in newton meter okay and tm is the mechanical or shaft torque supplied by the prime mover okay so t is actually it is the uh, net electrical torque at the output of the uh, shaft and uh, tm is the mechanical or shaft torque supplied by the prime mover okay so uh, under steady state operating conditions this te and uh, tm are equal and the machine runs at a constant speed okay and uh, that constant speed we know uh, we know that it is the synchronous speed if there is a difference between these two torques this tm and te then the rotor will have an accelerating or decelerating torque and it is we are denoting it as ta t suffix a okay so ta is the net accelerating torque we can call it as a net accelerating torque and here tm and te are positive for generators and tm and te are negative for motors and uh, the some terms are given that is theta time m. t theta times the angular displacement of the rotor with respect to stationary reference axis and delta m is the angular displacement of the rotor with respect to synchronously rotating reference axis so one is with respect to a stationary reference axis and the another one is with respect to a synchronously rotating reference axis okay and by uh, considering the Newton's law of motions and all, we can uh, write the net accelerating torque Ta is directly proportional to d square theta m by dt square. And uh, the proportionality constant we are uh, using here is j, where j is the moment of inertia. Uh, actually, it is represented in kilogram meter square. And uh, the Ta will be equal to j into d square theta m by dt square. Okay. So, we know that what is TA? TA is the net accelerating torque that is TM minus T. So J into D square T time by DT square is equal to TM minus TE. And the angular displacement theta M and delta M are related to synchronous speed by the following equation. Okay. That is theta M. Theta is theta M is with respect to a stationary reference axis. Okay. But delta M is a uh, with respect to a rotating reference axis okay so theta m is equal to omega t plus the corresponding uh, rotating reference axis angle delta m okay that is theta m is equal to omega smt plus delta m 
where omega SM is the synchronous angular speed of the rotor in mechanical radian per second. And if you are uh, just uh, differentiating this equation, we get it as dt time by dt is equal to omega sum plus d delta m by dt. And again, uh, if you are finding the second order uh, differential equation, this d square t time by dt square is equal to this time will be cancelled. That is the differential of this omega sum is, we know that it is zero. And uh, here it is d square t time by dt square is equal to d square delta m by dt square. Okay, so. Uh, from this 5.17 from this equation we can say that the rotor uh, angular velocity d theta m by dt is constant and equal to this omega sm only if this d delta m by dt is zero okay then only this d theta m by dt is equal to omega sm so hence d delta m by dt represents the deviation of rotor speed from synchronism so this is an important point this d delta m by dt actually we know that this delta m is uh, measured with respect to a synchronously rotating reference axis okay so that represent the deviation of the rotor from synchronism so if the differential of that that is if this time is zero then we can say that the d theta m by dt is equal to omega sm that is the actual synchronous speed okay so actually that is uh, written here and uh, uh, we uh, we can simply write as that is uh, we know that the equation j into d square t time by d square equal to t m minus t so we are just replacing this d square t time by d square with d square delta m by d square because these two are equal so we are substituting this equation in this 5.15 okay so we'll get it as j into d square delta m by d square is equal to t m minus t. Okay. And if you are uh, considering the power, okay, if you are considering the power equation, we know that power is equal to, okay, we can write p is equal to omega t. Okay. So torque we know if you are uh, going to find the power. Uh, here we are considering two different power that is pm actual, that is uh, shaft power input to the machine neglecting losses and pe actually is the electrical power developed in the rotor okay and you know that this power is equal to omega t that is 2 pi nd by 60 and uh, this pm actual okay if you are writing the equation for pm actual using this p equal to omega t pm actually will be equal to pm actual equal to omega sum into tm and uh, from that tm will be equal to pm actual by omega sum then P actually is equal to omega sum to T and T is equal to P actual by omega sum. Okay. Just see re rearranging this equation. We are getting the torque equation here. Okay. And uh, we are going to substitute this Tm and T. Okay. In this equation. In this 5.19 we are substituting this Tm and T. So Tm and T. If we are substituting that equation J into D square delta M by D square is equal to Pm actual by omega sum minus P actual by omega sum. And uh, uh, if we are just rearranging the equation that is omega sum can be taken on the left side okay that is j into omega sum into d square delta m by d square equal to pm actual minus pe actual okay and we are considering a term that we know uh, we know a term that is the inertia constant okay h actually it is the ratio of stored kinetic energy in megajoules to the uh, machine rating okay power rating of the machine in mva okay so if you are considering that term h here okay that is the initial constant and uh, we are denoting that capital s as power rating of the machine so uh, in the previous sections okay in the previous uh, explanations uh, we have found when that that is actually the dynamic okay the dynamics of when we are uh, discussing uh, we are discussing the dynamics of the synchronous machine uh, we have just found the equation for h as the ratio of the stored kinetic energy to the uh, machine rating in mva we know that the stored kinetic energy is represented as half j omega square half j into omega sm square by s so from that this j omega sm is equal to 2 hs by uh, omega sm by uh, just rearranging this equation we get this j omega sum is equal to 2 hs by omega sm and we are substituting this j omega sm in 5.22 in this equation okay so 
by substituting this j omega sum is equal to 2hs by omega sum in 5.22 we will get it as 2hs by omega sum into d square delta m by dt square uh, is equal to pm actual minus p actual okay and uh, here this omega sum okay it is in mechanical radian per second okay so if you are converting that into electrical radian per second this omega sum is equal to 2 by p omega s Okay, where omega s is a synchronous angular speed of rotor in electrical radian per second. This omega s, okay, in electrical radian per second. So, omega s m is equal to 2 by p omega s and delta m is equal to 2 by p delta. Okay, like that. Where p is the number of poles. Okay. And uh, uh, if you are substituting that here, that is in instead of this omega s m, we are substituting this 2 omega s by p. You can see here 2 omega s by p. Uh, so 2hs by 2 ms by p into d square 2 delta by p that is instead of this delta m delta m is equal to 2 delta by p so here d square by dt square of 2 delta by p is equal to pm actual minus p actual and by uh, uh, simply cancelling the terms that is 2 2 2 can uh, can be cancelled here we will get as 2hs by omega s into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm actual minus p actual and we are substituting the term omega s equal to 2 pi f okay omega equal to 2 pi f we know that okay so omega s equal to 2 pi f we are substituting here and by cancelling the terms 2 2 uh, we are getting the equation as hs by pi f is equal to d square delta by dt square is equal to pm actual minus p actual okay so here this uh, the pm actual and p actual actually uh, they are in megawatt okay so if you are representing that this pm actual and p actual in per unit value okay per unit value uh, we can represent that that is per unit value of mechanical power pm is equal to pm actual by s okay where uh, the machine and we are rating s okay as the base value here Okay, we know that the per unit value is the actual value by base value. So, PM actual. The per unit value of PM actual is equal to PM actual by the base value. Base value we are considering it as the uh, uh, S. Okay, that is the machine rating in MVA. Okay, so PM is equal to PM actual by S and P is equal to P actual by S. Where PM is the per unit value of the mechanical power and P is the per unit value of the mechanical power. We are considering like that. Okay. So here uh, a small uh, mistake is here that is pm it is the per unit value of the mechanical power okay and the uh, value p okay that is the per unit value of the electrical power okay instead of this mechanical okay we must have electrical per unit value of the per unit value of the electrical power okay so pm and p are found and uh, by substituting that in our equation that is h by pi f okay the h by pi f into d square delta by dt square instead of this pm actual and p actual we are substituting the per unit value so h uh, here uh, the h by pi f okay because the s s is cancelled okay here you you can see there is an h here okay so here we are considering it as a per unit value so uh, we are dividing the term with respect to our uh, machine rating in mvas okay so in the left and right side we are dividing it by a s okay the term s that is our machine rating in mva okay so in the right side it become in both sides it become the per unit values so here sss cancelled and we will get as h by pi f into into okay this is into okay h by pi f into uh, d square delta by dt square is equal to pm actual by s minus p actual by s okay so h by pi f is into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus p where pm and p are expressed as per unit value okay so actually this equation is known as our sing equation h by pi f into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus p where pm and p is the per unit value of mechanical and electrical power respectively okay so this equation is known as a sing equation actually it is a fundamental equation which governs the dynamics of the synchronous machine rotor in a synchronous machine if you are considering the uh, rotor okay if you are considering the rotor so this equation governs the dynamics of the rotor here 
okay so it is a second order differential equation so uh, i think uh, all of you understand the derivation well uh, so thank you